ericmothethmother.com as a follow-up to the previous video where I was talking about 38.2. I want to talk about something here that is pretty interesting and goes to show the value of understanding these levels or critical levels. So, of course, we know that the opposite of 38.2 is whoop, 61.8. So we know that these two are interchangeable as far as Fibonacci numbers are concerned. Now I want to show you something. So there's the best of my memory I can think of what people call to be a crash or what the market has generally determined as being a crash over you know the last 30 years or so. You'd have to go back and there's three main ones that I'm aware of, of or the ones that you know, you talk about a crash, everybody knows what you're talking about, the period. So there's obviously a crash here. Or let's say what is referred to as a crash. Now many of you might not know this, but there's seemingly was a crash in 98. What is termed as the capital crash. And here's a look of it. If you just take a look at quick search on your favorite search engine right there and you can read more about that so again let's go back to this is 1987 1998 and then there's a third one here, which is recent, 2008. Now, you'll notice, or at least let me say, let's go back to our values of 38.2, which is interchangeable with 61.8. You'll notice all of these three crashes have the same thing in common here. We went sliced through the 61.8 level. We sliced through it. Same thing here. We sliced through the 61.8 level. And then in 2008, during the crash, we actually cracked, slashed below 38.2. The point is, the more you understand how to view these numbers, the more the market starts speaking to you. And so when you see a stock holding or slashing through these key levels, there's a lot of information that is hidden in the dance that takes place when a market is moving above some of these critical RSI numbers that I discuss. And of course, the other numbers that you hear me talking about, the numbers of 69.1 and 30.9, they are just variations of these two numbers, pretty much. So pretty much all we talk about in terms of Fibonacci numbers is based on this number, which again is based on phi or 1.618. And you can see when the market was responding with what psychologically people call to be a crash. It so happens that this was a slashing through some of these key levels. EricMothethMother.com as always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-R-C-S.